Hey guys, David Bear here from Bear on Marketing, and uh, we're looking at the Facebook Power Editor right now because we're going to dive into uh, their most recent ad type that they've developed called a lead ad. Uh, this is an ad that allows somebody to simply click on a button right on their mobile phone, opt into an email list, and, uh, and, and be on their merry way without having to fill out any forms or anything. Um, so let me, let me start by saying you must be in the Power Editor. This is only available uh, on Google Chrome browsers. And so I'm going to go ahead and create an ad. Uh, now, I'm, this is not a, a video about how to use Power Editor, so I'm going to jump through some things that you um, may not be familiar with, but I just want to get through to show you how uh, this all works. So I'm just going to create a uh, campaign name. Uh, we're going to, let's see, can I create a new one? Nope. Um, so we're going to use the existing... Um, uh, ad set name and let's just call this lead test two. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and create it. Now, uh, the way to get this um, to work the first time, they'll actually ask you to fill out a form uh, to confirm that um, uh, that you are uh, going to follow all of their um, terms of service for capturing people's information through their platform, etc. Uh, so here we are in the um, the ad set itself, and let's see if it's going to allow me. There we go to edit the ad set. So. Um, I have the ad set name, it's lead, uh, I've set up a daily budget, I've defined, and this is really important, you need to define which of your um, fan pages, if you have more than one, you're going to associate this with, uh, I can decide on the schedule that I want to run, I can set up an audience specific to this campaign, in this case I'm, I'm not doing that at the moment, um, I can have this run on all mobile devices, just Android devices, or just iPhones, um, those are the only options because this is just a mobile uh, type of ad. You can optimize it for either clicks or leads. Um, their recommendation is to optimize it for leads, and obviously you want to because you want to get the most people who have the potential to click on it uh, out, out of there. And then there's uh, advanced options here. We'll skip over those for now because they're, they're really not something you need to, to be concerned with. Um, then let's jump over to the ad itself. And here we are. Um, uh, inside a brand new ad so this is the one that I'm setting up lead test 2 uh, again you want to have the uh, page that it's associated with this was defined on the uh, ad set level uh, I can create um, some creative text which will show up in the ad um, so you know I can simply say something like you know download this um, cool ebook probably not the best um, Piece of text to include there but so you, you understand um, and then I'll, I'll say something like you know free download um, let's spell that correctly uh, and then so, so that's gonna be the headline here right so you now have the text above um, the the call to action headline here uh, I can actually even fill in um, uh, this line underneath it so in this case I'm going to um, say something like what is it uh, we'll call it social media mistakes all right that's that's an ebook that I have now I can select an image and I can either choose an image that I already have or I can upload an image um, let's so let's go and find an image quickly let's see if I I don't even know where I have those images so let's check over here Okay, there we go. So here is an image for this particular ebook. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit confirm, and that's going to load that image for that ebook right in here. Uh, and then finally, uh, I have the choice of the different types of call to action uh, buttons that I want. So apply now, download, get quote, learn more, sign up or subscribe. In this case, I'm offering a download, so I'm going to change the button to say download. Um, and then here, you, you either create a new form or if you have an existing form. I had a form that I filled out, but for the sake of this um, video, I'm going to create a new form. And we're just going to call it, you know, um, let's just call it new form, right? Uh, I have some additional options uh, in terms of 
what what language and um, if I want to customize uh, certain ID fields. Uh, in this case, it's going to automatically pull from the user profile their email address and their full name. I can opt to not uh, take one of those uh, if I want to, you know, to not have their name, for example. And then I have the additional um, options of things like. Uh, uh, their phone number, uh, their their zip code, uh, marital status, other stuff if I want. And then I can even add up to three additional questions if I want. I can simply um, create questions that I can type in here and then have them fill out. But in this case, uh, we want to have as few barriers as possible. We really just want them to click a button, get their email address, and get them to, to join our list. Um, on this next page, this is very, very important you must add a privacy policy and a disclaimer from your website. So in this case, I'm sending them over to uh, uh, Bear on Marketing. Uh, so I'm gonna grab my privacy policy. Let's jump back over here uh, and drop, drop that in. Uh, this is optional to have a legal disclaimer, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and put my disclaimer uh, page in as well and click on next. Then this is the link that you're gonna send them to. So if you're sending them to download something, uh, you'll simply, uh, oops, let's just put the um, the download address in there. So let me just, uh, we'll just say it's my main website for now, but this would be the place where you're sending them to get what they've opted in for. So you don't wanna send them to another opt-in page, but you wanna send them to the delivery page, the thank you page, where they're going to receive what you are uh, providing. So uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, and um, it's, it's showing me that uh, uh, this is what the form looks like, and I can go ahead and create the form. So that's that. Uh, it's now going through this process, and that's pretty much it. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing me the uh, the display of the ad, but um, let's see if we can. Nope. For some reason, I'm not getting that, but uh, we did see it before. Now. I want to stress that it's important to um, use tracking pixels as best possible. Uh, I don't have any tracking pixels set up on this account, but let's um, let's just go ahead and we'll create a tracking pixel right now. Okay, so now I have a tracking pixel set up for this. It's great um, uh, information to be able to track who has uh, clicked on the ad and then who's gone to the um, uh, to the thank you page and actually downloaded the form. And if there's additional steps that you want to have them uh, tracked uh, beyond that, you can do that so you can create custom audiences. So that's the basic overview of lead ads. Um, I hope you've gotten uh, a good sense of how they work. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, you know shoot shoot me uh, uh, an email or questions, and I'm I'm happy to uh, help answer those as well. There is one big challenge with lead ads that I, I will say um, uh, there are a couple of workarounds for, and I'll I'll leave some details below this video. Uh, the the leads that you get simply get captured by Facebook and go uh, into uh, a database that you can download into a CSV file, but you cannot currently integrate them directly into your CRM or your email provider. So if you're using MailChimp or Constant Contact or GetResponse or Aweber uh, or Infusionsoft or any of those things, uh, it's not going to automatically integrate and, and send those leads right into those systems. So you have to either do it manually or you have to use a workaround system and uh, there are a couple of options for that uh, that I'll share with you um, in links below this video. So I hope that's uh, been helpful for you. Uh, that's an overview of lead ads and um, thanks so much for watching.